Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. So today is Friday and Friday means Planet Zoo. So today we are continuing with working on our Woodland Zoo. And if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Nim. I will be the person who does the voiceover and did the build. And the Woodland Zoo is basically a zoo that I built out of imagination. So I just imagine what I would like to have in a zoo and how I would like this zoo to be like shaped. So it's completely not realistic. It is very extravagant and over the top. But hey, you know what? Be extra, okay? You don't have a lot of time on this earth. Just live your extra life. Be that, be that person. And today we are building a habitat for the Himalayan brown bear. And maybe you're like, hmm, I never heard of that bear. Well, this bear is also known to be called the Isabel bear. Just so you know. And obviously, um, me being who I am and I build in Planet Zoo, I look up some information about the actual animal. And fun fact, actually I think this is really amusing. A lot of people mistake this bear for a yeti. So whenever there are like people that said, oh, I saw a yeti, now you know that it's just most likely it's been a Himalayan brown bear. This bear only lives uh, in the Himalaya well, in parts of the Himalaya, obviously, because it's the Himalayan brown bear, and in the north of Pakistan. And that is basically it. It lives there. It eats fish. I mean, it's a brown bear. It is part of the brown bear, like species. So it is endangered in the Himalayas, and it is critically endangered in Pakistan. So, you know, it's also the conversations, the conversation. Conversation, that's a weird word. Anyway, like um, the status is that it's critically endangered. So I always find it really sad about animals when you read that they're critically endangered. And I just ask myself how or or why. It just, it always confuses me. It also, also gets like, quite sad, like poor animals. They have just as much right like to live as we do, even though I probably am like the first person whenever I see a mosquito or a spider, I kill it. But, you know, actually we shouldn't. I mean, the rural animals, they all have the right to live on this earth. So, anyways, we are not going to talk about uh, personal beliefs or anything like that. Because, you know, um, we're not going to provoke outright. We aren't just going to do that. So, we are continued. Well, not continue. We are going to start with actually talking about this habitat. So, firstly... I wanted to make this viewing point and I wanted you to be able to see this bear from everywhere. So we have this hanging platform which goes over the habitat and that's also the part where you actually enter the habitat. So I always I thought that was quite nice. And then we are having this few bump outs where you can actually go and see the bear. And we also have a underground viewing area. And I'm actually quite proud of my underground viewing area. Usually I'm not that good at building it but you know. I managed. And then for the outer parts, because you know, we don't want the bear escaping and eating the guests, we are making this little, well, edge as a matter of saying. So we're placing stones down, and on top of those stones, we are actually going to place a glass border. And maybe you see more of the Woodland Zoo, and you're like, hmm, those are similar stones. Yes, it is. Those are actually the same stones and the same windows that we used in the entrance and at the timber wolf habitat. And if you haven't seen the timber wolf habitat, um, personally, it's one of my favorites. I think it's really cute and really well well built. Um, it is in the playlist of the Woodland Zoo and that playlist will be linked down below and also at the end of this video. So make sure you check that out and you can just see a lot and a lot of videos because I think this is going to be episode number 14 or 15. I believe it was 14 because like we did so many animals already and like the first episode of this entire let's play is the well I say let's play but it's more like a let's build <laughs> of this building series is the entrance and oh my gosh that entrance is so beautiful that was actually like the first custom entrance that I ever built and it is completely built by me and I'm really proud of it and I took some inspiration from entrances from zoos that I saw online and then I've actually visited it. And it took me, like no kidding, it took me almost four hours but it was so worth it. This habitat cost me like I think an hour or two, I'm not quite sure, an hour, an hour and a half, something like that. 
And I'm actually quite happy with the way it turned out. Like Himalayan bears don't need that much space. They only need like 500 square meter, which isn't a lot. It's really not a lot. And I'm, I always have the tendency of making the habitats enormous for the animals. So firstly, when I first built this habitat, it was like twice the size of what it is now. So I had to reduce that. So that's why me placing down the barriers is also not in this video because it is ridiculously large. And I shrunk it down anyways, so. And then of course a lot of the terrain itself is non-traversable area. Like the rocks and the, well, the rocks that I built and the rocks that are in the game, like the animals can't walk on that. And I believe the animals still have like, oh, like I can't see it because it's blurry because I'm doing a voiceover in the same um, software I'm also editing. So it the, it's kind of blurry so I can't read it, but I believe they still had like, 3,000 square meters, something like that. I mean, at least they have enough space. Like, I mean, there is that. And I'm actually quite happy with, with the amount of space that they have. And you can actually see the bear from like every angle. Plus, if the bear doesn't want to be seen, they can hide. And I think that's really like important as well. I mean, animals should be allowed to hide. The fun fact is like this animal, it needs snow and I, I don't know if you know this already for me, but I love the snow. If it were up to me, um, I would move to a country where it snows like all the time, like Antarctica or Iceland, Faroe Islands, something like that. Or, you know, just Sweden or Switzerland or Swiss, something like that. Wait, the Swiss and Switzerland are the same, Austria, I mean, so something like that. So, but you know, unfortunately I live in the Netherlands and the last time we had snow, was two, th three years ago, and that was it. It was actually kind of sad because I love snow. When I was a kid, it used to snow here every winter, but now with all climate change, it actually isn't snowing that often anymore, which really sucks because, you know, I love I love winter, I love snow, I love snowball fights and everything like that. So all the animals that have like snow and they need snow, I love it. Unfortunately, I don't really like the snowy maps in this game because, you know, I think they look a little bit weird, but that's just my humble opinion. At the moment, we are just making sure there is enough vegetation and landscaping for these animals because, you know, they do need it. I mean, they are bears, so they're going to need like climbing areas and trees. That's always what I think about. If I think of bears, I always think of like big trees where they climb in. And then I think of all these little like flowers that are usually surrounding them and where they lie in. I don't know, I just, I make some weird associations in my head, like half of the time. I don't even know what I'm associating is correct. I probably heard it somewhere and then I remember it, but I never really remember where I heard it or everything. I remember like parts, but again, that's, that's just how my memory works. That's just me. And here we are making sure that there are like some fallen trees as well because we want to create the illusion that these bears are kind of rough and that they are like kicking over some trees and that they're really strong, dangerous bears. So you should be careful and not mess with them. That's actually a true fact. Never mess with bears because they will kill you. Bears are very dangerous, but also very beautiful. I once went to a zoo and there was a bear habitat and it it was like really close to the entrance and the bear was lying like next to to the glass and you could just see his paws like his paws were bigger than my head and i have quite a big head it was just so intimidating and just like whoa this animal is really dangerous imagine coming across a bear in the wild just imagine it i would scream although screaming I heard it's not that smart to do with brown bears. With brown bears it just... Apparently you have to make no sound, and with black bears you have to make sound, and with brown bears you don't. But I feel like if you don't make a noise they're gonna kill you anyway, so I'd probably just scream. And you shouldn't run because they see that as a threat or something, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a bear expert, ask the local people at your zoo about the bear, I guess. I don't know, I really should have done some research about bears. I have to say that making like landscaping scenes is really one of my favorite things to do. And I really love the way that it looks with all the different kind of plants. And then we add some uh, like berry tree, 
trees plants in there then some more trees and it looks absolutely just so so cute and i'm gonna say it again but i really love it i just like how cute it is also um big tip never redo like the the stones whenever you've placed like stones you want to place stones inside of the habitat just copy the ones you've already have because like it takes you a lot of time and if you rotate it it looks the same anyway so it doesn't really matter that much oh yes i also created some little uh climbing area for these bears and i didn't thought that it would actually go on it but as it turns out they actually really liked it and during the cinematics you will see so as well that they really like it and they use it quite a lot i mean one of the bears just go up there and pooped and then it fell on the other bear which was kind of funny but they really like it and it looks so cute and here i was noticing the downside of having such rocky uh like terrain you can barely fit like a lot of the enrichment items which really sucked because i like to use them all but you know we managed we managed good and then i noticed that some of the traversable area wasn't correct so we fixed it and once we have fixed that so we are going on to the exterior and the exterior meaning like the finishing touches so we are adding some benches upstairs and downstairs and on the floaty levels we are making sure that the rocks aren't sticking out then we are going to add some trash cans as well because you know guests in planet zoo are kind of rude they just dump their trash everywhere i mean if i don't see a trash can i just put it in my pocket or backpack i don't throw my trash on the street these people should be brought up better obviously we're adding some donation boxes and we are making sure that our guests can get educated so we are putting it all in the himalayan black bear and then we are also going to put some conversation i feel like that is i pronounce it conservation conservation not conversation Confer conversation i don't know the difference man in pronunciation this is annoying but you know what i mean like we're gonna put one of those signs up so the guests get educated in that as well and then we are just adding some lights and i think guys we are almost going into the cinematics so enjoy the cinematics and i hope that you enjoyed this speed build if you have make sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel so you get notified when more, I upload more videos and I will hope to see you guys on Sunday. Bye guys!